Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today I'm going to look at raising the roof. I'm not, maybe not doing it today, but I'm going to have a little dabble and see what the process is going to take. So uh, I think moving the lights is going to be the main thing because that's where all the weight's going to be. So uh, we've got that job to do today. Um, don't know how much of the job it's actually going to be. Um, then we've got to do some stuff with the animals, do some checks, do some uh, just some cleaning and some proper jobs. I've got to completely break down the tortoise tank and rescape it and stuff like that because it's due to be done. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me and I shall see you in a bit. Just got here today and it's forever home time for the Crested Gecko. So they're really keen, come really early because they almost beat me here. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get him out, let's put him up in his transport box and then they're going to take him home. So we've got to get jumpy pants and put him into his transport box so he gets to go to his forever home. So we've got to get him out of the bushes. Hello, my friend. How are you this lovely morning? Here he is, here he is. Here he is. Hello, hello little buddy. He's nice and chilled out now. He knows we're not going to hurt him, so he just sits and chills. He doesn't try and escape. It's hard to get to focus on him now because he's so tiny. We're going to put him down in his forever box. I'll get another piece of tissue to put on top so he doesn't feel like he's exposed and he can grab onto something. Like so. And then we put that on top and he's away to his forever home. We can have a look in the old Rufio. Rufio! <laughs> That's hot for you, that is. So, what we're going to do. Because I know, I think I'm going to have to work on the walls as well. So I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, there isn't a wall behind there. So I think there is there, but then not any higher up there isn't. So we're going to pop this one out again. Come on. There we go. Let's go up into the roof. Okay, so if we move this box. So over there, that's next door. Yeah. So if you see where that piece of wood is, that's where my wall should be. So we're gonna have to do a wall and block it all up to at least that little height anyway. So uh, see where that is, we're gonna have to follow that round, I think, if we need to do the fake wall. And then everything else looks doable. It really does. So we're gonna have to move some wires, paint some stuff, remove some trunking. Uh, yeah, looks doable to me, looks doable to me. So, I think, yeah, the lights are the heaviest bit. Definitely the heaviest bit. So, hmm, I don't know if it's all gonna lift up at once. See, in theory, I could pull on that and it lifts everything up. So if I got all the wires tightening up at the same rate, it would just lift the whole roof up in one go. I think it's really doable. Process today is I want to get all the stuff that's up here down, um, try and remove some of the trunking and the wires that aren't needed and see what's going to actually take to raise the roof. So we had a little bit of a rush panic. So Somehow she got into her cage with the bulb. So, you see I've had to drop it down and get her out. And I've had to pick her up to give her a check over to check nothing's happened to her. Luckily, it's that warm in the shop, her heat bulb was off. The only reason it's on now, the only reason it's on is because I've opened the door. So you can see she's still very, very not impressed. Not impressed at all, are you darling? No, not impressed at all. So, oh. We have to put it back in um, and then close her up and found out how she got into the cage because um, it is blocked off all the way around the top with wood so uh, I'm going to have to must have pushed something out or moved something and managed to get her way in. Whoa. So <laughs> what we're going to have to do is put her back, stop it, let's put her back, put her plant in there and then um, close it all off and find out how she got into it and block it off so she can't do it again. Because we don't want to be... It's okay. So I'm going to try and hold her as long as I can. But as soon as she strokes, sometimes she falls off, so... 
because I can't really hold her without her trying to bite me. So you can see I've got my sleeve all like this so she can't see any heat from my hand. So she, she, that's why she's striking me at the face because she can see all my heat. That's what it is. Isn't it, darling? You want me face? So uh, we've got to put her back in now. And then uh, sort out the problems. So we, just, I'm going to have to put her in the corner and cover her up with something and then so we can do the work without getting burnt again. Okay, so can you please go back in? Okay, stay there. I'm going to put the bush on top, like so. Okay. So how did she get into the cage? Stay over there. Wow. Oh. I need, we need something else because she's still trying to get me. A court bark barrier. We put that there like this. And that'll make her feel safe and she physically can't get me now. So if we look, I've had to, so on these, this one, because it's a, a different sized cage, we've got packing out to uh, give it the extra gap it needs. So it looks like she's messed with the wood. Yes, that one at the back has been pushed out. So if I fold this up, put my hand in. And push. Okay. There we go, that's blocked off now, fantastic. So now we can close this back down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now the snake can't get in it. So why are you being like that? So there we go. She's still moody as hell. Um, <laughs> so we'll leave her to it and then Next couple of days, we're going to have to do more and more handling just to try and get her to stop being like this. Actually, I think I'll give her two or three days to chill first. I'll give her a couple more days to chill, and then um, then we'll start doing stuff with her. Um, she is just so highly strung. It's, she's just scared. It's one of the main things. She's just scared. So the longer she stays here, the more happier she'll be, and then uh, she should settle in. And when she's had a feed, she should be happier. It's hard because really, we need to have a look at her because she was by the bulb. We need to check that all her body's okay. She hasn't cooked herself and she hasn't got any burn marks or anything like that. But she's just, she's striking me in the tank now. I just don't, we need to check on her to see if she's burned. Uh, but I just don't want to stress her out anymore. Um, see if I can think of something. She's not gonna like this at all, but we need to check if she's got any burns or any damage from getting into the cage. So I'm gonna to have to pin her head. So say this is her head, we're gonna pin her head down, then I'm gonna come either side, pick it up and restrain her head, and then we can have a good look at her body while I've got her head. So I'll just find a way to pin her down, pin her down, grab the head, and then bring her up. Darling, I've got to look at you. I've got to check you. Come on, you're okay. Uh, 
now. Okay. I've got it. She has calmed down. What was this? Why couldn't you do this a second ago? Oh my god. What? She's fine. You just bit me. Like a second ago. Look, I've got blood and everything. And now she's fine. So we take the chance, we're going to have a look at her body. See, you had no reason to bite. Now you got the taste of Alex's blood. Is that all you wanted? That's all she wanted. Now she had a good bite on me. It's the first time she's ever given me an actual good bite. The other one, she just clicked me on my finger. This time she actually did actually get me quite reasonable on the hand. So. Ow! Don't bite! You've just established you're okay now. So, Viv defensive more than anything, it seems, of the fear of actually getting out. As soon as she's out, she's calm right down. But I can't see anything wrong with her at all. She's not, she's soft all the way along, because if they, because they can actually cook themselves being by the bulbs. And it actually becomes rock solid. So, uh, doesn't look like she's doing that. I'm okay. So, that doesn't look like it's happened. There's no markings at all on the skin. So I think she was lucky. Lucky that the tank, the shot was up to temperature and that the bulb wasn't off. So I have fixed that now so she can't get back in there. And she stopped being bitey for now anyway. Don't you bite me again. I don't know. All that, all that striking and biting, and and she's fine now. I don't know. So we sort out the tank all we can after a mad half hour. Everything looks secure. So we put it back in. Put it back in. No, don't get any ideas. Don't get any ideas. No. Thank you very much. Back in the tank. Oh, at least she's fine. That's the good thing. She's absolutely fine. No markings, no burns, no nothing. Oh, she did get me once though. Shame I didn't get it on camera though. But she did get me. Didn't get the other side. Just got the top jaw. That's all she did. Whack the top jaw on me. That's all she did. Okay, so that changed our plan a bit. So now I'm gonna try and carry on upstairs. Well, do th this bit. Most of the rubbish up here. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got to make sure that our side isn't connected to that side. No, it's not. So that's sweet. We can do that. We can just lift this side up and leave their side down. Um, I think I'm going to have to take the lights out because they're just so heavy. I think that's going to be 90% of the weight we're lifting up is going to be in these lights. So if we take these lights out, um, it should be a lot more easier just to lift up the roof then. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be, it won't be all today, it won't be all today, but we can do a good job of it today. So we're going to have to move, remove all this trunking and stuff like that, get it all off the walls, um, clear it all up so we can go higher and then uh, I think we'll be raring to go slightly. Ah, 
I'll move along and do the rest. Got most of the trunk in down now, they wanted to get off. I've got to cut the warriors though. I'm pretty sure they're dead, but I'm not 100%, so we've got to be a little bit careful. Okay, so this is going to be a live one, if it is. Okay. Nothing. Okay, next is this one. Possible live. Come on. There we go. Oh, we did it, that's all right. We're all dead, I think. Oh. Come on. Hey, proper job. So, we're gonna lower all this down now. Oh. And get it out the roof. Slight change of plan. So I've noticed that where they've hooked these up, it's just swinging in the wind. Same with that one over here. They're not attached to the walls. They are literally doing nothing. So I'm gonna have to take them off this Drill them up here to the wall. I don't know whose idea it was to screw it to some cruddy little plastic. Um, that was the most stupidest idea going. So, no good at all. So, we'll have to do it properly and make it look good. So, we've got tons of ways of doing it, but the way they've doing it, they've just cut every corner and done everything the most rubbishest way possible. So, and we ain't like that, we does it proper. So, um, I'll try and do some more, but it is getting harder because I thought I'd just be able to raise it up, but it's not. Looks like I'm going to have to reattach all the hanging wires. So, well, most of them anyway. Some of them are going to be okay because they're attached to the roof, um, like straight to the roof, uh, like there. And some of them are attached to beams, which are there. So those ones will be okay, but the ones that are meant to be attached to the wall but they're just attached to this weird plastic uh they were no good we need some more tools to carry on with the job now um i might try and do a bit more but i think it's going to be a night time job so uh i may have to come back on the night and do it on the night time when it's i haven't got to worry about serving customers and stuff like that so we do have another job to do today we've got to sort out the tortoises or tortoise so we've only got one left now so uh, we've got to completely revamp his tank uh because it's been and it's been uh, enough time now that we need to change all the substrate. So uh, we get all the substrate out, give it a nice sprucey clean, set it all back up, make it look nice and cool for him. And then uh, if I've got more time today, I'll try and do some more stuff. Um, or I'll try and do more on the roof if I can. But I think I do need a masonry drill and some other bits and bobs to actually get it done. So, uh, woo -wee, let's crack on with the tortoises. Oakley dokey then. Running a little bit low on time. So I've had loads of customers. So uh, we're gonna have to give him a good clear out, make sure everything's all ready for him, and we can do escaping. So oh, lovely and clean, he is dead. So we're gonna scape it out again, make it nice and cool for him, and then uh, see how we go. What I wanna do, I wanna change it around a little bit. So I'm gonna put the big hide, not quite in the middle like we usually do, uh, I'm going to put it over somewhere around about here and then 
want to know actually, should we have it in the hot end? We never ever had it in the hot end. How high is it to the bowl? So it would be like that. I think that's all right. We'd make a nice little basking spot for them. If you build ramps up to it, I think that'd be quite nice. We've never had it on that end. We've already had it on the other end. Uh, and then we're going to scape out the rest of it as well. Just had a rescue fish come in. <clears throat> little Oscar. So a little tip. The water is not the important thing when you're bagging the fish up. It's the air in the bag. So really, you could, when they, even when they ship really big koi, they're just the tiniest bit of water in there to keep them wet. The rest is pure oxygen. It's so they can breathe in the bag. If, see, it, he's got all that water, but only that tiny little section of air. So he can run out of air very quickly. So uh, we need to change this bag, get him in a proper one, and then uh, acclimate him, and then we can release him into the tank. Too bad, I managed to undo the knot. So we've kept him in the same bag, we're just acclimating him now. So we're giving him a couple of dunks. He's a lovely little Oscar, he is. So uh, we'll let him acclimate, then we can release him and I'll carry on with the turtles while he acclimates. Tortoises, tortoises. Go, there's our first there, so they can go up that ramp. They can go up that ramp and they can come up on the top. And I've got to fill in the dirt in there and then we escape the rest of it. The supporting rocks to help the dirt not fall all the way down and give it some structural integrity. Yeah, we're all scaped out. Looking sweet. We've got our little dudes down there chilling. So I think we're doing a good job. Mate, do you want some veg? I'll try some veggies. Veggies? Veggies. Oh, our veggies. Oh, we love the veggies. We love it. We love it, don't we, sir? What's this? But even more. No? Do I scare you a little bit? Do I scare you a little bit? Is that what it is? You want to be under there? Do you feel a bit safer? A bit safer under there. Yum, 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 yum. Chumpy, chumpy, chumpy. We love some veggies. We love some veggies. Don't we, sir? More veggies? No? But that piece. No? No, that was enough. That's all he wanted. That's all he wanted was that little bit. You sure? We'll have some more, look. Oh, yeah, we'll have some more. We'll have some more. Wow, 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 wow. Chompy, chompy, chompy. Look, he's just inhaling it. Um, 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 yummy, yummy, yummy. Veggies in my tummy. What a cool little dude. So he's, uh, he eats everything. So he'll have veggies, he'll have mice, he'll have bugs. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm nor, I can't say it. I'm nervous. no. I'll, I'll find out how to say it and I'll say it. Means he can eat everything. Oh, but he's such a cool little dude, look at his tail. Oops, sorry, I touched your tail. Sorry, bird. So I'm doing some more veg. More veg? Oh, yes. Perfect little job. He's an omnivore. That's the word. He's an omnivore. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Want some more veg? Want some more veggies? Veggies. Veggies. No, no veggies. veggies. No, he's had enough. No veggies. We'll leave that there for him. He can have a munch when he wants to. Hey, buddy. You ready? Come on, mate. Out we come. There we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hey everybody, that's all the time I've got for today. I think I'll be coming in on the nights to do this now. So well, you may get some more videos of me building that or I may just do it little clips throughout the day. Um, so please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she lives up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.